Hello, my name is Kelly Castle, and I am so excited because this week marks the official launch of this little device I am wearing here called the Scalar Solutions Vial, and Pierre is wearing his in rope form. And a few days ago, we did a whole episode on covering what is this exactly and what is Scalar Energy, and Today's show is all about energy testing because energy testing is how we measure the results that we are getting with this vial. And of course, I'm joined here by the creator and founder of the Scalar Solutions Vial, Pierre Andre. He is a very talented energy tester. And so today he is going to teach us what is energy testing? How do we do it? How can you learn so that as you start to work with this product, you can know how it's working for you and how to use it better. So Pierre, thanks so much for joining us today. Sure, of course. And just a little note here at the beginning, um, you can find both of these conversations here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. So if you know someone who would be interested in learning more about the Scalar Solutions Vial, energy testing, or Scalar Energy, you can send them all of this information on the different platforms. So um, like this video, send it to someone, send the videos on Instagram to your friends, and spread the word about this incredible technology that now the public has access to, which is really, really exciting. And Pierre is going to start us off with a little disclaimer, and then we will jump into the question, what is energy testing? Yes. So what we're discussing here is for educational purposes only. Uh, it's not FDA approved. We don't use this to treat, diagnose, or cure anything. Um, we're talking in the realm of energy. That's all we're talking about. We're talking theory. And also, we will be talking some historical facts and things of that nature. But again, this is not to treat, diagnose, or cure anything. If you want treatment and diagnosis, go to your trained medical professional. That's what I would say there. Uh, in terms of the question, what is energy testing? So energy testing, uh, I, I say energy testing, but it's similar to what's called dowsing, kinesiology. Um, I think I forgot how to pronounce it, right? right, right um, it's really measuring, and here's the beauty, because the human body is the most sensitive device machinery ever created, that's what we're using to measure in terms of things that are beneficial, uh, the energy of things. So for example, when we talk about emotions, there are things that universally make us weak. Anger is typically stored in the liver. And so universally, like in Chinese medicine, you'll find anger, even though you can find it throughout the body. Uh, one famous um, person that I would, actually not famous, but I mean, one, one way I would reference, let's go a little back into the history of energy testing and dowsing is, oil companies and uh, other companies, uh, it's called water witching. Uh, oil companies use dowsers at time because it costs a lot of money when they pick to drill. So you really want to tip the scales in your favor once you pick an area to drill that is uh, expensive. I forgot what the, what the amount is. And even on my Instagram, I had a news clip which references and shows how they're using dowsers to find water because the human body is so sensitive as you're looking for a particular thing, the, they, they call them L rods. The L rods will cross. It's the same way when people are looking for water. I'm using it to test the energy, not treat anything in the body, but test the energy in the body, test for possible issues. And it's also how I developed the scalar solution valve. And I'll be doing some uh, demonstration around that. Okay, great. So let's get into how energy testing works because if you are interested, you can actually do a session with Pierre, which I've been working with energy testers for a long, long time. And once I met Pierre and I went and did a session with him, my mind was blown. Like I knew he was the real deal because he is on so Instagram. 
Yes, exactly. You can you can go and check out what a session looks like and kind of how he does what he does. But he's going to show us here now. So first, can you just show us a little bit of, of, of what a session looks like? And then we're going to go into um, the checklist of how we can all start to learn to become energy testers. Mm -hmm. Uh, first and foremost, what I do is because I'm not treating or curing anything, I have to work with people under the guise of education. So I have clients or potential people who want to work with me sign a waiver, which we create. It's a private health membership, the Professional Wellness Alliance. That's the banner I, fa I fall under. I have people sign that waiver and then um, they pay the fee. And I have people send me photos, for example, of all of their supplements um check in about any past surgeries and things of that nature if people have metal fillings because those are the sort of things that block energy within the body any sort of implant you put in the body will block energy and then i have a whole bunch of vials i hold up a few and whether a person is in person with me like when me and kelly did the session that's on instagram that was done in person um but even if a person is remote just via testing the photo of someone because our energy field, everything that's going on in, within us is recorded even in a picture. So I always ask people, send me a current picture, usually of just their hand, and then I'll compare it against these various vials. Now, in person, we would do it in person, and I'm looking for resonance. And so and when I say resonance, if I get a yes where the body locks up, you know, um, then that means then there's the energy of that issue. Remember, we're not treating the diagnosis or anything. So... For example, I have a vial that has the word anger on it, the electromagnetic frequency of anger. And so if I hold it up to someone's photo, or I also use a picture of um, the various organs and glands. So it's this. here's the beauty of energy. We don't need to cut into the body or use a camera to take a, a peek into what's going on within the body. So I'll use this, right, for example. As everything, the gallbladder is not written on here in the adrenals, but I always remember to test for that. And so I'll pick up, I'll just pick up one of my random files. Here's a negative emotion grudge, right? And so I will test, is this in, say, if I have a client, Billy's body, the energy of a grudge? Yes. And then check where is it lodged in the body. And then we also work to um, remove it. And one of the things too, many people have gone to like chiropractors, there are a lot of chiropractors that do what's called kinesiology. They have you stick your hand out and then they test like this. And if you go weak, for example, if somebody holds Tylenol towards you, you should universally go weak versus if somebody holds um, an organic apple, you should typically go strong within the arm locks up. So that's one of the ways to test, but you can, and I'll get into that, you can use your body to do it and, it and that's what I'm doing. I'm not touching anyone because one of the reasons why, uh, and it just never worked for me, but my concern too is people's energy fields into mix. We have what's called a morphogenic field and that's why there's such a thing as energy vampires where whoever has the bigger life force or energy field, they donate. Quick fun fact, and you can test this, you know one of the reasons why we love being around children? They give us energy. We take from their battery. You understand, mm -hmm. typically, unless the child is sick, but that's why their, their energy is quote unquote infectious because they're so full of quote life. Their battery is so charged. And once we're close enough, we're interacting and we get a little bit of that. Just like somebody who's really, really um, negative, right? They sort of bring us down with their energy. And one of the ways, one of the things you can do too is to protect yourself. I always say a lot of Reiki practitioners forget to zip themselves up to block, because as you're donating, if you're interacting with someone's energy field and you're pulling stuff out, where is it going if it's not blocked? It's going into you. Yeah, and one of the things I was so impressed with working with Pierre is how he was, I, I actually didn't tell him much about like my current health status or different things I had in my mouth or any of that before our session because I just kind of wanted to see okay what is he going to pick up on and he was able to pick up on everything going 
on with me without me actually telling him. For example, I had not told him that I have a metal bar in my mouth along my bottom front teeth. And he knew immediately. He was like, where is the metal in your mouth? (laughs) And luckily, he was able to neutralize it with a scalar energy device. Um, You can do that. That's We'll get into this later. But one of my favorite ways to use this is to charge my food and to occasionally, I mean, I eat pretty healthy overall. But occasionally, when I want to have something that's not so good for me, I can neutralize it with this. Um, And then what I love about Pierre's work is when you have a session with him, he does an extensive overview of your health, all your organs. He goes through a huge food list of things that you should eat, that you shouldn't eat. And then he has this giant supplement uh, box full of several hundred supplements, as well as a list of the common adaptogens. And he will find a what, whatever like three to five supplements that synthesize best for your body and he will help save you money that way. So especially I know right now there's like tons of these products on the market that have like a whole list of like 50 different ingredients in them and all these things. And what I learned from him is a lot of that stuff we just don't need or it has stuff that doesn't harmoniously work together, doesn't synthesize together. So Pierre, maybe you can just touch on um, how you figure out what is best for a person. Mm -hmm. How I figure out what's best for a person is I call myself an energy reader. (laughs) I'm I'm reading the energy of what the person's body says that it wants. An example I'll refer people back to is when we did this session with Kelly, Kelly, uh, adrenals tested weak and she drank coffee. Universally, most people are drinking coffee, even though coffee is a good thing, organic coffee, if, assuming it hasn't been sprayed and whatnot, it isn't universally good for everyone. So as Kelly mentioned, when we talk about foods, just like grapes, you know, organic grapes are good, but for me, they don't test good. Um, and one of the hacks actually is to take digestive enzymes. And that was something we did in Kelly's session where if there's foods that you can't tolerate, as we're older and whatnot, if we take digestive enzymes, it helps the body to better break it down. Like I, I can't really tolerate dairy, but if I take, uh, I use a digestive enzyme that has the enzyme of black paste in it, and that helps me break it down. But going back to the coffee situation, that was one of the ways I just check Kelly's body and ask it, you know, how does coffee test for Kelly? Weak or strong? When, so, when you go weak, then that means the body does not want that particular thing. And so then, and it's the same when we're trying to synergistically create the the most optimal uh, nutritional profile for someone to help them, you just simply ask the body. I have a menu of a whole bunch of different things that people could use, adaptogens, fats, digestive enzymes, vitamins, uh, minerals, glandulars. You just ask the body if I could only use three of these, if I could only use five of these, what are the five that would create the greatest combination for Kelly's health for Billy's health. And that's the beauty with um, energy testing where it separates itself from the bioresonance machines. That's the one thing that I love. Now, not bashing them, they're pretty good. There's a few pretty good ones, but when it's when it comes to hardcore testing, you can really dive really, really deeply and customize things for people in ways that standard machinery programs like a lot of these devices that are pre-programmed just can't. In real time, we can test you and tap into exactly what you need and create something unique that speaks specifically to you versus those machines are pre-programmed for like this adaptogen, this thing, this thing, and this thing. And the one thing those machines don't do, all of those things might test for you. But if we put them together, sometimes we get what's called cancellation where they antagonize each other versus when we're testing, that doesn't happen. Do you understand the difference? So we might have to, the the machine spits out uh, the top three things that's beneficial for you, but for some reason, whatever have you, there might be certain ingredients or things within those that antagonize each other. The machine is not going to know that. With energy testing, we will. 
Mm -hmm. So let's get into now showing people some of the different methods that you have learned over the years to actually energy test and tell people every person on earth can learn how to do this. And I actually mm -hmm. want to take that one step further and say your body actually already knows how to do this. You may just need to re-strengthen that muscle. It's a muscle essentially and everyone will do it in a little bit different way. But your body already knows how to do it. You just have to learn how to trust yourself, feel that energy, channel that energy. And I promise you this skill is going to be a game changer. So Pierre, show us some of the methods for energy testing. A couple of things. Uh, one, Elizabeth Brown. This is a really great reference. Dowsing, Elizabeth Brown. Um, she has a website, Causative Diagnosis. Pretty much, if you look at her website, that's the exact work I'm doing where using dowsing slash energy testing, I'm able to tap in and assist people with health issues. She has a really great chapter in the book. That's why I brought it. I want to reference where some of the best testers and the best people to work with initially are children. One of the reasons why it's best to start out with children is, as I take you through this process, is a lot of adults, unfortunately, because of our programming, in our indoctrination, we're blocking the ability for our body to use this tool that was given to us by God. <laughs> That's one of the biggest issues. And think about how many times you ever heard of a gut feeling, having a premonition about something. Your body, your, your heart field has been measured to be about 5,000 times stronger than your brain. They've done studies, if you check out the Heart Math Institute, where a person before getting into an accident or something tragic happening, several seconds before their heart spiked. It's like this, this knowing, like we have this ability to know certain things or you get a really bad feeling or quote vibe, right? Everybody talks about vibes around a certain person or how you can feel if you're in the room, somebody's staring at you, that sort of stuff. So we're utilizing energy, but we're just not really tapping into it. And so, the demonstration, one of the first things we need to do is make sure our polarity is corrected. If your polarity is not corrected and or your energy centers, i.e. known as chakras, are not spinning correctly, they, they call it chakras, I call them energy centers, same, then that can create an issue in terms of what you're doing is we're looking to tap into the universal data bank, how everything is already recorded. And we're using our we're using ourselves, the physical body that was developed, created, to go ahead and tap in to know. So, for example, if this was a Coca-Cola, if we pretend this is a Coca-Cola, my body goes weak when I say this is a Coca-Cola. When I test this drink for myself in general, it's strong because it's a probiotic drink. Kinesiologists, right? They have you, you, you form a circuit. They put your arm out. You can do this yourself by creating like an arm bar. So like when I say my name is Pierre and I'm pushing up while trying to push down. So when I say my name is Pierre, it locks. When I say my name is Kelly, all of a sudden, you see how you can, this is a measure of one way to self-test. I keep saying my name is Kelly and my arm drops. It goes, it goes weak because just like a light switch on off, the muscle goes weak because that's not true. It's just not true. So. Right. And so, for example, I'll say 5G is 100 percent safe to our health. And right away I go weak. I say 5G oxidizes us and creates significant health issues. And my arm locks up. So that's one way. It's called the arm bar. You can do it this way as well. Same thing. You're pumping on the arm. This arm is going up. This hand goes here over it and you're pushing down. So I say my name is Kelly. I can't hold it. When I say my name is Pierre, it goes strong. But going back, like I said, we need to make sure our polarity is correct. So I'll show you one of the ways you check is like this. So when I hold my hand over my head like this, I start to fall back. The negative energy is on this side. If you hold it over here, you should tip forward. And the simplest thing I tell people, if you don't want to check polarity and check if all your chakras are spinning, just decree them to be so. So you just make the declaration, I decree. My polarity is corrected. I decree my energy centers are spinning correctly. My chakras are spinning correctly. And that's a way to make sure your body is ready to energy test. Why is that important? Because if you're not, if we're what we call being reversed, then you won't test properly. Like, so if we pretend this is Coca-Cola, 
and pretend I'm reverse. Watch what happens. Pretend I'm reverse. I can I can tell my body, and this is Coca Cola. It starts to test strong. I'll show you for example. I say pretend I'm reversed. My name is Kelly. I test strong for that because I'm reversed. Okay, so, so let's the- let's just pause here for just one moment to to clarify some things. Um, so when you are starting to energy test, if if you don't know how to do this yet, just like learning an instrument, if you're learning how to cook, if you're learning to do anything, there there is a series of steps you need to go through to become really good at this. So when you're first learning how to, how to energy test, the first thing you need to do is test your polarity and make sure that you are in the correct polarity. So for step number one, Pierre, will you show us again? So the bottom side of your hand is the negative side. So you're going to hold that over your head. Forward is good. Yes. You can hold it even over your throat. You see the back side of my hand. Because remember the Petruvian man with the electricity and all of that flowing mm-hmm. through the body? When we take our hand and we put it here, we're disrupting the flow. But because negative energy is good, in the world of energetics, positive steals, negative is good, negative charge. So scalar, we're, we're charging the body's battery with negative charge. In the world of energy, negative is okay. good, positive is bad. So this is negative. So that's why I can hold it over any part of my body and I'll tip forward. This is positive. And when I hold it, for example, over my thyroid, I start to fall back. I hold it over my head. I start to fall back and I'm interfering. I'm cutting off the energy, right? That's flowing through here. And that's one of the ways I know my polarity is corrected. If we get very angry uh, at something, it literally can reverse us. Um, I think even certain foods, probably things like alcohol, certain things can reverse us that we ingest. Mm -hmm. So very negative emotions, anger. And that's why the step one, if you're not going to form any tests, you just make the decree. Even for myself, before I work on a client, always make that decree to make sure I'm not reversed. Um, now if I, if I'm conscious and I just like my child made me very angry, they did something dangerous or whatever have you. And I know I absolutely need to go ahead and correct it because um, very, very uh, negative emotions will reverse you. And so so the simplest thing to do to reverse is make the decree. decree. Okay. Now, step two, actually, I think this is one of the most important steps is letting go of the ego. So can you speak a little bit on this? Mm Mm-hmm. And it, it goes back to what I referenced here, and I forgot what the chapter is, but she mentions why children are so good at uh, being taught how to dial is because if we are so hung up and uptight about our own ego, what we believe to be what, what is and isn't possible, then that's why a lot of people cannot do this work. It's not they can't do it because of lack of ability. They can't do it because they've already decided within their own ego, how this is supposed to work, what is and isn't possible. So you create your own blockages because of our ego. A simple example is if you think of someone who's anorexic, they weigh 115 pounds, but they create their own blockages because when they look in the mirror, they can say, I see a 180 pound man, 80 pound woman. You're creating distortions in your own blockages. If you say this can't work for me and this isn't possible, deep down and that's what you want to believe, then you're absolutely correct. There's no way you're going to be able to test. So it's very important to be able to let that go and make, you know, I, I would say you probably can tap uh, probably on certain, if you have heard of EFT, tapping on the head or the heart and making certain de- declarations around being open to being able to do this work versus like, you know, I release any sort of negative, um, I release any, any sort of, uh, what would be the word? I release, I release any negative beliefs around energy testing, something like that. If you're tapping that, that's one of the ways to counter it and prepare the body, but it's extremely important. Mm-hmm. I can't stress that enough. I've, I've even worked on people in the past where for several hours, this was a long time ago when I first got into this work, I couldn't get them to test. And fast forward years later, now I realize why. Yeah. I mean, if I couldn't get the test, I couldn't help them 
to be able to respond to no matter what we put in the energy field, negative or positive, their body was just like stuck. Yeah. And I receive this question a lot. How do I let go of my ego to allow this work, to allow me to do this work? Even if you're going to see a Reiki practitioner, you're starting to meditate, you can block your energy from being able to receive in general, whether it's receiving Reiki energy, whether it's receiving a nutrient, um, whether it's receiving love, if you are wanting to receive money, which is simply just an energy, you can block yourself from receiving. And that means you need to let go a part of your ego that's blocking that. So my recommendation is these decrees are a really great step. And you also just have to start noticing your own thoughts. Your thoughts are one of the most powerful tools you have available to you. And so if you are not watching your thoughts throughout the the day and seeing yourself say to yourself, "Um, I can't have this. I don't know how to make money. I don't all of that stuff you are sending out and telling the world that that is what you want to experience. So one of the first things I recommend is just to start to watch your thoughts throughout the day and catch them. As soon as you hear yourself think that or say that to someone, you need to reverse it and speak out loud the opposite of that phrase that is actually something in receiving. And it'll just be a muscle that you have to start practicing, but you'll be able to get there. Um, yeah, the yeah. point you bring up for neuro linguistic programming, you have to interrupt uh, that. And for some people, um, that that is going to be some of the prerequisite work that they need to do. Versus for me, what I realized when I first got into this, I was shocked. I responded right away um, in terms of the testing because I was at a conference where I met my teacher and another person who um, became like a mentor to me as well, and I was watching him as my teacher was teaching. And this is one of the methods. That so let's, could yeah, do. we're, hold on. We're going to get there in just a second. Hold on. Okay. So, um, now the next step is you are going to choose how you are going to test. And this is where, if you've heard some of these words, clairaudient, clairsentient, clairvoyant, where people can actually tune in, you're actually using your pineal gland, this very advanced spiritual tuner in your brain to tune into the quantum field that's around you and experience the energy around you. I have several of these gifts and I actually work on strengthening these gifts often. It's like going to the gym, going to the spiritual gym. Um, a lot of us, though, are using some form of clairsentience. You're using your hands to tune into these things. So, Pierre, show us a couple of the different methods we can use. So the first method I will show you that I use um, from time to time and when I first saw it being done was the rub method, we call it. So you see how I'm rubbing on the phone and, you, and everything that's right spin is beneficial, left spin is negative, right? So things that steal from you, uh, things like sugar steals an electron from you, is positive energy in the world of, of quantum physics. And we don't want that, we want negative. So if, if, you're, if you're spinning, right, your hand to the right, as I say, my name is Pierre, Look how my hands get stuck and I can't move them. But when I say my name is Kelly, it's the same thing. It's like on, on. When I keep saying my name is Kelly, my body doesn't respond to that. So, for example, I can hold this up and I brought it as a reference and I'll say this is a good starting tool for people who want to learn testing to read. You see how I get stuck? I've even used it for books, picking out books and things that I need to know. But it's just called the rub method. So you rub when your fingers get stuck. That's it. And you can also, too, program it. If I want to program my yes to be the smooth, that not to be unstuck, I can tell my brain that. So my no is, this is my no. So fingers getting stuck. And then I say my yes is smooth. So when I say my name is Pierre, see how it stays smooth? I say my name is Kelly, and it gets stuck. That's reversed. So I, I like to do it the regular way. Rigid stuck is a yes. 
Yeah. Uh, weak is a no, but you can program it. So that's one method. Yeah. And just a side note, I would say for anyone just starting to learn how to test, doing that programming and, and setting your yes or no is really important. And so if you're wanting to use, like he'll show you with the pendant, um, with your hands. And so, yeah, he'll, he'll go through, but that's a really important step when you're first learning. So now pendulum. And this is obviously more discreet. When I'm at home because my hands get tired, I can do it like this with my finger. Let me see how I can put it. There we go. So as I'm pressing on my finger, when I say my name is Pierre, it gets stuck. Same thing like the arm bar method. When I say my name is Kelly, it stays weak. You see that? I say I, could, I should go drink a two liter of Coca-Cola and it goes weak. You know, Tylenol is good for me. See, it goes weak. Tylenol is highly toxic. You see how strong my finger, this is a method that I'll use when I need to be discreet. But when I don't need to be discreet, I use this. I also use this to measure the energy of stuff. It's called a pendulum. And for example, it will whip. Like if I hold it over this can, right, to find the energy in this can, it spins to the right. And I'll say, this is Coca-Cola. And see how it spins to the left? Left spin steals energy. So left is a no, right spin is a yes, just like moving forward. This is a yes, and then left to right is a no. So I'll say my name is Kelly, and it'll stay left to right, versus I say my name is Pierre, and it'll self-correct. Say I say, um, here, here's a simple one. I'll say, uh, I am female, I am a male, you see that? And you could even use this for certain uh, philosophies or, or concepts so you can really there, there's a lot of things you can do so that's the pendulum um I use the finger method i like to say like the claw take these three fingers and these three fingers and then we're just pulling so same thing my name is pierre and i'm trying to pull it apart and when the body strengthens up it's hard so you're not really trying you're trying to pull it apart but then when it when it totally relaxes like i say my name is kelly and my fingers relax that would be a no you know, I'll say, for example, uh, today I took my, I flew my kids to school today. You see, that's a no. I drove my children to school today. You see, that's a yes, because that's true. I didn't fly them to school. So this is another method that's pretty discreet. One of my favorites is what's called the tip method, where you just stand, you know, and I'll say, uh, I like to tell people practicing a really negative word like um, hate, revenge, 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 hate. My body starts to fall back. Versus if you say the word, for example, forgiveness, 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 the body will tip forward. When people are grocery shopping, and I do this sometimes, people will look and ask me because I'll pick up a certain supplement and just hold it near me. And then if it's good, I'll tip forward. If it's bad, you tip back. So that's another option. As I said, when you go get tested by someone else, they have you hold the arm out and they do it, but I've already demonstrated to you, you can do it yourself. You can actually even do it this way as well. So when I say my name is Pierre, I'm strong. I'm just using two fingers on here. I say my name is Kelly. I can feel my muscle just go weak. My arm relaxes. There's even this method to rub. You can rub your hands together. Same thing. When it gets stuck, if I can't rub, that's a yes. If I can rub it, that's a no. So I say my name is Kelly. See how my fingers, my hands stay smooth. My name is Pierre. And it literally gets stuck. The hands get stuck together, just like the rubber method. So that those are um, I'm trying to think. Those are quite well. That's like five different ones. Using those, whatever seems to resonate the most, because one might not necessarily work for you. Uh, so whatever feels the most comfortable that you feel like getting results. Oh, one more like this. I like to do. It's almost like the flapper, like a quack quack. <laughs> so I say my name is um. So I say Coca Cola. You see, right away, the body goes weak to things that are no good. And I say the word emotion, love, and it gets rigid. So you just create like an O-ring. It's almost called the O-ring method. You take your, you take the other fingers, you put them in here, and you're trying to force it open. If it gets stuck, that's a yes. That's something strong. If it gets weak, then that's a no. There's something called bioacoustics. Uh, Sherry Edwards, people could look into this. She uses the sound of people's voice to be able to tap in with what's going on with them. She's even had uh, been contracted by the US Army. So if you want to talk energetics, look into sound healing. I think Sherry Edwards Bioacoustics. 
And that's another method. She had an injury. All of a sudden, she could hear. We have certain uh, tones within our throat and within our voice that if certain things are missing, that's indicative of certain issues. I've learned, for example, I can listen to a politician talk and I can know if somebody is sincere with what they're saying. I kid you not. You can know, like, is this person, as they deliver this message, or do they sincerely believe what they're saying, or are they purposely being deceptive? It's all in the energy field. It's all recorded. So nothing is technically hidden uh, from us. So those, those are the various ways you can test. Yeah, you just have to tune in. And my recommendation to you is to try out all of these things in the beginning and then pick one and do that one a lot. Do it every single day. I personally test my supplements every single morning and I ask, how many should I take? And I go through, I pick out one, two, three. And then when I get there, I'm like, okay, this is how much I should take for the day. Um, when I first started out, I used this a lot and I also used the tip method a lot. Um, but as I further developed, I am extremely clairsentient. Whenever I'm in a room and feeling energy, um, my hands are very sensitive. And so it literally feels to me like electricity runs through my hands. And it's like when you get a cramp and everything cramps up. Um, for yeses, my hand cramps up and goes strong and it just goes weak. I feel nothing it's a, if it's a no. So I'm at the point now, I just use my hand and then I ask the questions. And the last part of learning to be a great energy tester is the quality of questions. And we generally, we like to be as specific as possible, which is why we tend to stick to yes or no answers. So oftentimes what you have to do is you have to start out with a very broad question and then narrow and get more specific within a series of questions. So Pierre, could you walk us through, perhaps you're working, let's find an example. You're working with a client and you're trying to pinpoint like which organ is wrong and what supplement. Can you kind of walk us through going from broad to a really specific question? Yeah. So here's my uh, highly technical machinery, as you can see, right? Highly developed machinery. I want to peer into Billy's body. I just say the word Billy like that as a client or oh, Susan, whoever. In our first test, I'll say what, and, and the way I work with people, I look for the priority issues. What organs, what are the top three organs and or glands and body system that's in the most amount of distress? What needs the most amount of support? Because the things that are low level, the body self heals. The low level stuff, if you address the big things, the body will address the low thing, the, the, um, the things that aren't priority. You need to address the priority things because that's what's going to help people get changes within their health outcomes. You know, if you look on my website, for example, uh, when I assisted the gentleman, my contractor, Manuel, how he tells the story, he spent $200,000, uh, the top pain specialists, chiropractors, various people. And all I did was energy test him and ask what would be most beneficial to assist him with his back issue and it was curcumin because his back spasms was being caused by an inflamed, plugged up liver. I energy tested. This is where the specifics comes in. He had to be on about anywhere from eight to 12 capsules a day. Two weeks later, a problem that he had for 12 years was resolved with about a $10, um, $10 bottle of curcumin. And that's the power. I use this as a specific example of the things you can sort of achieve. So I check the person's body. And so like if the stomach is what comes number one is weak and we scale it zero to 100, say a person's stomach is a 42, then I say, okay, what is causing um, Susan's stomach to be so weak? Then I start to go through the vials and see what's going on in there. Often it'll be antibiotic residues, a fungus, uh, things of that nature. But that's how you go from broad to more specific. First, you identify where in the body is the weakest organs or glands whose functioning is not the best and figure out why. I also check for emotions as well. Usually there'll be a significant uh, emotion or trauma tied to that area, which is another reason why that area tests so weak. So we need to uh, clear that. And that's one of the things that we do as well. But same thing for a person's brain. If their brain tests really weak, 
you check, is it B vitamins? Is it magnesium? Is it trauma? Is it heavy metals? The body will speak and say exactly, my brain is weak because, and all I'm trying to do is match it with all these potentials. Just hold the vial up. What, what is it? What's making such and such brain weak? Yeah. And I'll just mention with all of the vials, he has all the emotions. He has different foods. He checks for um, if you've taken tons of different uh, pharmaceutical drugs or antibiotics or different. If we use the V word, you know what I'm talking about. He has a whole huge list of all of the different V's you could have taken over the years. And you can either, even, um, for example, through different contact with people, you can pick up a V that you hadn't yourself taken but was transmitted to you through fluids and things or sharing drinks and different things. So um, you may need to detox that sort of stuff out of your body. Um, so he literally, he will go through everything. He will be able to tell you from foods to supplements, drugs, whatever, what is in your body and what needs to get out of your body, what's causing the problems. Um, and just is, is what, what substances will negate. That's how yes. I've learned. Like zeolite, I talk about, is one of the most powerful detoxifiers using high doses of vitamin C, food base, things of that nature. It's the same thing. Like, how do we match and know? So once we identify the problem with, say, the stomach test week and this antibiotic residue, say, and this is where you go into specifics. I test one person, they might test, they need the zeolite. Another one says, I want probiotics to resolve it. You see, you still just check the body. A person's body will let it be known because there, there's more than one substance that detoxifies, right? So you can still match specifically which one of these tests is optimal for this person versus saying, oh, yeah, this is universally great as, the, as a detoxifier. And then the person's body might say no. And part of it might be because they're already taking that particular substance and it's not working given whatever other issues that's going on. And that's why I mean the body will speak. You can just check. You check the body and ask, what do we go with? What do you want? Yeah. And so to start practicing this in your day-to-day -day life, I recommend testing your supplements every day. Should I take this? Yes or no? Okay, how many should I take? One, two, three. Ah, that's where I go strong. Okay. Even test yes, okay. check for so if you land at three, ask, will it be beneficial to take four of these? And usually you'll get a no. If three is what gives the most benefit, that's what you go for. Because going back to specifics, if you say, is this good for me? Should I take some? Your body will say yes. And then you look at the label, it says two. This is what two is. Meanwhile, you're very deficient. Say it's magnesium. You might need nine. You might need six. And that's why the more specific you can get, that's that's will help you with getting the results. Because if you need six or something and you have a really good supplement uh, and you're taking two, it's not going to really start to hit the issue. You need yeah. to be able to get on. And that's the thing. When people start at a high level because the body tells you if you need six or something a day, like my mom was needing nine magnesiums a day, food base. After a week, she's down to six a day because she's starting to get saturated and ramped up. And that's the beauty of, of testing. I always check like, all right. Would five, would, I mean, would seven be beneficial? And all of a sudden the body is like, no, a week ago, it was like, yeah, seven would be beneficial. Eight, nine, what about 10? No, 10 is not. So nine is the number. You did nine for a week and all of a sudden, six is what's going to be the greatest benefit. If I'm doing seven with her, we're wasting product. Mm -hmm. And so you'll notice, as he just demonstrated, that you change over time. You, your body is different day to day. So you need to know day to day exactly what to take. This will save you tons of money on supplements. And you'll also become super sensitive to what you are consuming from eating, drinking, and even like skincare products and stuff. I noticed that when I got into the health journey a long, long time ago, once I went through 
my big detoxing in the beginning. I recultured my gut, evened out hormones and things. I became very sensitive and my body would start to scream at me even before I put something in my mouth. Like let's say I went and, and decided to eat ice cream. Like before I even put it in my mouth, my body is going, no, 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 don't put all that sugar in your body. So you'll become really sensitive and it helps you learn how to trust yourself, which is what we all want. We all want to feel. So this is one of the reasons that this skill is so valuable and important during this time. I want to show people this is another reference. It's called The Subtle Body, an encyclopedia of the energetic anatomy by Cindy Dale. You can check that out. It's called The Subtle Body. And it has, for example, in this test accurate, you see this image and it shows the different points even on the body. All of the organs and glands correlate with different points on the body. So the middle finger, the nail is tied to the kidneys, the, the thumb is tied to the intestines, and then there's points on the hand, the spleen, lungs. It's a pretty good uh, reference guide. If you're into energetics, it doesn't teach testing, but like here's a chapter on human energy fields. It talks about morphogenic fields. So I like to share resources for people to uh, help them take this a little further for those who want to really dive into the history and the nuts and bolts around it. So I would say that's a great resource. And again, this thousand book by Elizabeth Brown, and you can check out her website. She's been doing this even before I got into it, where she's using the energy test in IE dowsing to check and assist people and educate and coach them with health issues finding the proper substances to get at issues that um, modern medicine just doesn't seem to be able to touch. Mm -hmm. So we recommend saving this video. You should probably go back and watch it again and go through each of those steps we just taught you. Um, go through and practice each step practice it multiple times and and then start using it and seeing what happens. And Pierre and I have talked a little bit and we may end up running like an online or an in-person course on energy testing at some point. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but let's let's get to the fun stuff now. And so we talk about energy testing because one, that's what Pierre does. It's one of his main ways of helping helping people. But once you you leave him, um, he has developed this really cool piece of very advanced technology, even if it doesn't look like it, to continue to support your energetic body um, once you leave your session and, and in your day-to-day -day life. So um, you can go back to video number one and get a really in-depth, detailed description about what this is and how it works. But for right now, could you just give a brief description of what this is? Brief description of what this is. It's pretty much, uh, you can say, almost like a memory card, a software program that is made to speak to the human body that as you hold it on your person or you're wearing it, it has, just like you go to a restaurant and you have a menu of various foods and things that you can eat, this has a menu of various energies that interact with the body in various ways. And so as you wear it, it helps to strengthen the body. It helps to grow the energy field. It helps to balance the nervous systems. It helps to detoxify the body of certain poisons. It helps you to grow telomeres. For those of you who don't know what telomeres are, they're the tails tied to our DNA strand, which is tied to um, our life, how long our life is. And as we get older, we lose telomeres as our DNA gets damaged. And again, if you can energy test, you test this statement, pause the video. Wearing this will grow telomeres for you. So it's been programmed to do a whole host of, of various things where it's like plug and play. You put it on and then it strengthens the body. Also, it is made, it's been programmed to strengthen the body against electromagnetics, which are always oxidizing us. So that's one of the uh, cool ways to utilize it. Simply just wear it. For people who get it, we will be doing a monthly call. Um, I have a running list in a Google Doc that was going to be starting to be shared out of the various things it's been programmed with. And the beauty is, as people get into testing, you can check my work and check the vial. Like, really, will the vial help with this? Will it help lower my inflammation? Will it help? And it's all frequency. The essence of everything physical is a frequency. Everything oscillates. And so this is like, like I said, it's like a software program 
because you wear it, it speaks to your body and then your body takes what it needs. And the beauty is unlike medication or even with supplements, you can't waste it. It doesn't run out and it can't hurt you. And specifically, since we've talked a lot about supplements today, what can this do for your supplements? Oh, yeah. So assuming as long as uh, you, once you're ramped up, as long as you don't have a significant need for a particular supplement, let's say you have a significant need for magnesium, this does not lower the amounts that you need. But once you're ramped up, it lowers the amounts you need because it helps to optimize your nutritional profile. Plus, it has the frequencies of various vitamins, minerals, and nutrients in it. No, it will not totally replace everything. It's like, oh, all I have to do is wear this and I never eat again. However, it gives you a little extra boost in helping reduce what you need, which means if you can get by, for example, you have a supplement where the body is needing three a day uh, and you're totally ramped up, you might be able to get away with just one a day of something, which means then that product lasts you longer and you don't sacrifice uh, actual performance in terms of how you feel with the three versus the one. That's the goal, right? If I could get you if we can get your body to operate just as efficiently on one B vitamin capsule a day when you need a three, that just means that bottle now has lasted you a whole lot longer and you've saved some money. Yes, I have noticed that big time and just how much energy this thing gives me. Like I've actually figured out I have to take it off when I sleep because otherwise it's giving me too much energy. <laughs> um, but it's... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I I feel phenomenal when I wear this thing. And part of how we are building a community around those of you who end up getting one of these eventually um, is that we want to hear from you. How are you using it? What results are you seeing? Um, what would you still like it to help you with? So you put it on, you start wearing it, you start noticing results with this part of your life, but you still have a problem with your teeth, with your heart, with your kidneys. Um, we want to know. So one of the things, whenever you get your own Scalar Solutions vial, which you're going to be able to purchase on either a chain or on the rope, which Pierre is wearing. I think both are really cool. I know I wear mine all the time and, and I'm getting compliments because it's it's kind of different and cool. You can like wear it inside your shirt. You can wear it in your pocket. You do need to physically have it on you. It does need to interact and touch your body. So it doesn't mean you have to wear it out here, but you do need it on you at some point. Um, but whenever you get your own device, you're going to have access to a Telegram group where everyone that owns Owns this thing is going to be chatting about what results they're seeing, how they're using it. Um, you might even be asking, okay, do we get the results just from wearing it around our neck or like some of these tools out there, the acupuncture, the electronic devices where you have to wear the beam around your head or your wrists. Pierre, can you just speak on that a little bit? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, one of the things that separates this from those devices is it's plug and play. Once you're wearing it, you get the benefits ongoing. Once you take it off, then you stop getting the benefits. Even with updating it, for example, um, because uh, of non-locality, the beauty is you pay for this one time, and then I can update it on an ongoing basis. One quick thing I wanted to show people is here the three vials of the medical decision and I get, as of right now, there's nothing in here that helps with that. However, I'm working on a scale energy remedy that will help us, whether you've been injected or not, to help the body break down what's in this. There's nutritionals and then there's energetics that's gonna really, uh, I think is the final solution to, to assisting people with this significant issue that we're dealing with. Yeah, so it's just as simple as all you have to do is wear it. You at this point, you don't even have to hold it to specific points anymore. Yeah. Which so is before really you did, and that was one of the things I did to make it very easy for people, because there was points over the heart, over the right ear. I think inflammation was right here, the rear crown, top crown, uh, left point right here was to strengthen all the various points in the body. 
after two minutes. And one thing I discovered is that if you hold it here and a person doesn't go strong, that's because there's a deeply, there's an issue that is, there's a part of the body that's stealing energy, for example. So, and that's one of the concepts to go back with the testing, as we discussed earlier, we can dig into the body, quote, dig, energetically dig and find out things that pre-programmed bioresonance devices just can't. You know, I'll give people a specific example. You could test this, and that's part of why I just developed a remedy for it. There are a lot of people dealing with health issues. I have a client dealing with a thyroid issue, someone dealing with a heart issue. When we test directly the heart and ask the thyroid, is that the source of the issue? The body is saying no. You test all around the body, the issue is within the teeth because of root canals. Meridians have been cut off and or blocked and bacteria and things go downstream and hurt the body. And so that's what I mean. Your bioresonance device is not going to necessarily be able to find those sort of things. Again, now I'll name some that are useful. Quest is good. The body scan is good. Uh, the cyber scan is good. But I'm just trying to show you a point of differentiation where once you get really well versed at testing, you can go far beyond even what these devices can do for you. Yeah. And the beauty about this is that you are getting a huge amount of energy. Because I mean, I have noticed I've been wearing this thing for several weeks now, I think maybe even over a month. And I have way, way, way more energy. Like my skin is all nice and clear since wearing this thing. Whereas with a lot of those devices, one, they tend to be really, really expensive. And either you have to go and work with a practitioner to get like an hour on it, or you have to sp spend two thousand dollars even 20 grand for these things and you can't carry it around with you you can't have it with you all day which is where this you buy it once you're wearing it on you and you have it all the time which is just incredible so we want to hear how, what results you're seeing, how you're using it, your questions. And we have a lot of practitioners that are using this as well and asking Pierre tons of questions that you will be able to interact with those other practitioners in the Telegram group because it's going to get to a point where Pierre can't answer all of your questions all the time. So there will be other practitioners in there as well. Um, we are, though, so that you can ask Pierre questions, going to offer a once a month um, monthly call with Pierre where he will be giving various lectures throughout the year as well as having a Q&A section. Um, he is just a wealth of knowledge on health and wellness and supplements and, and scalar energy, quantum physics, all these things. I have learned so much from him um, in kind of the, the year that we have been friends now. And so I guarantee you, you're going to learn something new in these lectures and calls. And then finally, so that you know what is in this vial, the, the codes and how it can help you, there is a living Google document you'll have access to view and you can see what codes are programmed into this and how it can help you. And because he is always working on new codes to put into this thing, um, we're going to keep it updated as this library of, of what goes into it. And one quick thing I would share, and people can test this, why Kelly is reporting she is feeling uh, an increase in her energy is this has been programmed to help the body generate its own electrons. Just like when you take food-based vitamin C, it's an electron donor. This helps the body generate its own electrons for its own healing. And how do you substantiate that? You need to be able to energy test. There's no device that you can hook this up to and you're going to be able to see all the various things that it does. The only device that exists is the human body. You test through the human body. Any kinesiologist puts this up into somebody's pocket, I guarantee you that person will start to test strong. Hold it up against the liver. Hold it up against these different points on the body. Wherever there's an issue, and that's the thing, this will start to energize. It doesn't correct or heal anything. But that's one of the ways we get feedback to know that this is assisting the body. The body tells us. That's the way we know. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So just to recap that, um, if you when I should say when you decide to get your own scalar device, um, use the code activate three six nine all uppercase and you can get twenty five dollars off and free shipping. Um, there will be a link. Domestic, <laughs> domestic shipping, yeah, domestic free domestic shipping in the U.S. Um, so there is the link below to go ahead and purchase this. You get access to the Telegram group, um, the once a month calls with Pierre, and access to the live document of all of the frequencies. Of course, you can read in the little blurb some of what's already in there when you buy it, but you'll be able to see everything once you have it. So we're really looking forward to hearing how people are using this. We're already seeing such great results. Um, this is something that anyone can wear. It doesn't matter what age. Pierre is working on a version for kids. Um, we just have to find a kid-friendly packaging. <laughs> yeah, but we even have people using this on their dogs, like uh, putting it onto their dog's collars and helping out their dogs, um, family members of every age. And so it it is meant to help everyone, which is the beauty of it. <laughs> And the last thing that I forgot to mention is you can even use it for improved gas mileage, people. Oh, yeah. You not. <laughs> yes. This is the coolest one. Up against the gas pump, and it will help to energize your gasoline and neutralize. Again, we're talking frequency, not physically filtering out the, the ethanol and the toxins, but what we can do with energy is help to cancel certain things out. And that's how you get the better fuel performance. Well, you'll get a few extra miles per gallon. Like on my Honda Pilot, energy test that, and I and I um, used it today to fill up. I energy tested that using this, I get an extra five miles per gallon. Yeah. So, you know, you add yeah. that up again, that savings back into your pocket. And it's like, okay, how do you substantiate that? Well, you need to try it. And this is one way you'd be able to track it because everybody sort of knows what their gas mileage is. There's some other devices and things out there that help. But like, even as this liquid thing that I like, um, but I have to keep buying that with this, I'm not using that liquid anymore. I'm just using my vial. Yes. I tested this on a road trip. I just drove from Florida to Texas. And so I filled up twice with and twice without. And without my miles per gallon never went above 25. And with it was hanging between 26 and 33. And I was like, my, my gas mileage had never hit 33 miles per gallon. I was like, wow, this is incredible. <laughs> so it's working. Yeah. So the link is below. We can't wait to hear from you what results you're seeing with it, how you're using it, and joining our monthly calls. So let us know, Pierre, anything else that we're forgetting? Uh, no, I will lastly say it's one device, people, <laughs> many different applications. Learn how to test. If you want to get the most out of this sort of work, if you really want to be empowered with your own health, practice, 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 uh, learn how to test. And it can be, it's just a tremendous tool to be used. As I said, uh, I primarily use it for health applications. But the last quick story I'll share, I shared previously, I even used testing to evaluate a used car I bought in the past. <laughs> he knew it was in great shape. Took it to my mechanic after energy testing it, and he told me the same thing. I was able to energy test and know the health of the engine, the transmission, to make sure I'm not buying a lemon. So even with, uh, fit, even with technology and things like that, if something is jacked up and somebody is trying to scam you or whatever have you if you're a well-versed tester it's already been put out there and you can pick up on that and know and that helps you to tip the scale in your favor so i i just like to say it's like tapping into more deeply that intuition that we tend to have but has sort of been beaten out of us mm -hmm. yeah so if you have questions leave your questions or comments uh below this youtube video you can reach out to both of us on instagram if you search either of our names find us there and we look forward to hearing from you have a good one <laughs>